Thanks for choosing North America's leading wheelbarrow manufacturer. This step-by-step -step assembly video will help you quickly and easily assemble your wheelbarrow. Before beginning assembly, lay all the components and parts out and make sure you have everything you need. First step is to insert the two and three quarter inch bolts through the holes in the bottom of the tray. You'll notice the bolts have a square neck that lines up with the square hole in the tray. Push the bolt in, again making sure to line up the neck with the hole in the tray, make sure it is fully seated. When pushing the bolt through, make sure to use the plastic retainer clips. Hold the clip against the bottom of the tray and push the bolt through the tray and the clip. The clip will actually hold the bolt in place and this will be very helpful for the rest of the assembly. Now it's time to put the handles on. Make sure the grip end of the handle is facing toward the rear of the wheelbarrow and carefully slide the handle over the bolts. Repeat this for the second handle. Now it's time to add the cross braces. Each cross brace has a reinforcing rib that runs through the center of the brace. When assembling, make sure that that rib is pointing toward the bottom of the tray. Lay the short cross brace over the two front bolts, and then lay the long cross brace over the two rear bolts. Now it's time to add the legs. Make sure that these holes in the legs are facing toward the rear of the wheelbarrow as you assemble the legs. Place a leg over the bolts, and then grab a half inch nut and loosely attach the leg. Don't tighten the nuts at this time, just finger tighten. Repeat this process to attach the other leg. The next step is to attach the leg brace. Make sure that the short side of the leg brace is oriented toward the bottom of the tray and the longer side is oriented toward the bottom of the legs. Simply place the leg brace against the back of the legs and using a 3 quarter inch bolt, push the bolt through the leg and then through the leg brace. Use one of the half inch nuts to loosely attach the leg brace. Repeat this three more times and you'll have your leg brace fully assembled. Now it's time to attach the wheel guard. Simply place the wheel guard over the front of the handles and use a, using a two and a quarter inch bolt, push the bolt through the wheel guard, through the handle, and then loosely secure with one of the half inch nuts. Repeat this for the other side, but pay attention when you are putting the wheel guard on, make sure that you are pushing the bolt from the outside through to the inside so that the rounded end of the bolt is facing the outside and the threaded end of the bolt is facing inside. At this time, fully tighten both of the wheel guard bolts. Now it's time to assemble the axle brackets. Make sure the long end of the bracket is pointing out toward the outside of the wheelbarrow assembly. Lay the bracket on the handle using a two and a quarter inch bolt Push the bolt through the bracket hole closest to the tray, then through the bracket, and secure it with a half inch nut. Wheelbarrows using the 13 and a quarter inch tires will have the axle brackets pointing inward. Take your second two and a quarter inch bolt, push it through the bottom of the tray brace, then push that assembly through the handles, through the axle bracket, and again, secure loosely with a half inch nut. Repeat this process to assemble the other axle bracket tray brace. Now it's time to slide the axle through both axle brackets and then slide a spacer onto each end of the axle. Now it's time to mount the wheels onto the axles. Make sure that the valve stem on the wheel is facing toward the outside. This will come in handy down the road when you need to get an air pump on that valve stem to fill up the tire. Simply slide the wheel assembly over the end of the axle. Slide a flat washer onto the end of the axle up against the wheel hub. And then take one of the hairpin style cotter pins, push the pin through the hole in the end of the axle till it snaps in, locking the wheel assembly in place. Now roll the wheelbarrow on its side and using a three quarter inch bolt, push the bolt through the tray from the inside to the outside through the top of the front tray brace and then use a half inch nut to secure the top of the tray brace to the tray. Repeat this to secure the second tray brace to the tray. 
Now it's time to tighten the axle brackets. Push the axle brackets to the outside, locking the wheel assembly between the spacers and the cotter pins. Once the axle brackets are in position, take your socket or your half inch wrench and fully tighten all four of the axle bracket bolts. Last step is to use your half inch wrench or socket and fully tighten all of the remaining tray and leg brace bolts. That's all there is to it. You're ready to go. Thanks again for your purchase and we hope you enjoy your new wheelbarrow for many years to come.